Is there a way to actually secure one's vote in an election process and be 100% certain that it's going to be counted? You know, all over the news right now, you can see this election is is being talked about in the president presidential election coming up on the, on, in uh, the next, what, nine days here in, in uh, United States of America. And so you'll you'll hear all about it. Now, I want to just play a uh, an audio here in a moment from a re- relatively um, you know relatively big platform in the mainstream that's going to talk about election and uh, actually how to secure the election a little bit. But before we do that, let me just kind of break this down. Um, so you know, with Bitcoin, Bitcoin, you know, the real secret behind Bitcoin is, is it is it just a truth machine? Okay, I know that people in the mainstream, it, it's been all about price go up. And they've promoted this uh, this money system behind it. Well, that's the old boomer system. That's the old financial system that talks about Bitcoin. And, and I, I know that that's all throughout everyone's consciousness, but it's actually not the big revolution with Bitcoin. The big secret and the revolution that the Bitcoin did was is it became it made everything transparent, open, and honest. It's a truth machine, and so by having a public system, a public ledger for everyone to view what happens on, you know, it creates honesty. It creates transparency. It creates a way that, that there's no way to fake or cheat or, you know, or anything. And that's been the biggest problem that we've been facing. It seems like is, is, in, you know, being taken advantage of by large institutions or governments. And, you know, we're just not a hundred percent certain that what they're doing is open and honest, no matter what side you're on, it doesn't matter. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to see all activity so that it's just transparent, you know, and let's hope that they're all being open and honest, but if they're not, we'll be able to see it. And that's the whole purpose of Bitcoin. When I say Bitcoin, I'm talking about the underlying protocol, the bit protocol, which in crypto traders mind is known as BSV. All right. But that doesn't really represent what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the underlying protocol, the base layer of the technology, the blockchain itself. And with that blockchain, there is something called, um, there's a company called Enchain. And Enchain has secured the, uh, basically what it done, it's done is it's, is it's basically created intellectual property over the, um, over the space in all sorts of areas, including elections, including voting systems. And with that, they've created a way for anyone to use their, uh, their intellectual property, as long as they build on the underlying protocol, which is known as the BSV blockchain. And so I want to share a video. It's rather, uh, it's only about, I don't know, looks like only about two minutes, but it's rather uh, mainstream. It's going to be from SG and on. And, you know, he's talking here about the Enchain patent, you know, credit to myself, because I actually was the one that sent it to him. He and I were communicating back and forth. And I, sh- and I sent him this, I sent him one of these patents and he's going to share it and walk you through it. So stay tuned. Listen up. Here we go encapsulates this and would be a really nice way to conclude our file today, understanding that patriots really are in control. Here we go. On the screen before you, you'll see a patent application granted January of this year. The patent is for a blockchain implemented counting system and a method for use in secure voting and distribution applied for by in-chain licensing invented by Craig Stephen Wright and Stephanie Savannah, both out of Great Britain. The abstract describes the patent as techniques for the implementation of automated processes such as device and system control, process control, distributed computing and storage, and event detecting, monitoring, and or counting mechanism. The event may be, for example, a vote, a decision, or a selection which is made by a given entity, A counting solution is presented in which a computing resource running simultaneously and in parallel to the blockchain manages a loop-based operation. The computing resource continuously monitors the state of the blockchain as well as any other off-blockchain input data or sources. The execution of the loop is influenced by the state of the blockchain. Each iteration of the loop that is executed by the computing resource is recorded in a transaction that is written to the blockchain. Now, Mr. Craig Stephen Wright is an Australian computer scientist and businessman and patriots. For those out there that recognize the name, you will recognize that he has claimed to be the individual behind the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, the inventor of Bitcoin. That patent was granted earlier this year. 
that means that we now have in play a blockchain secure voting system that's ready for use um, on what I think will be a next generation way of life. We have incredible events before us, patriots. Stay sharp, stay alert, stay encouraged, and stay assured. I'll be back with each of you. So there it is, SG and on right there, going through the N-Chain patent uh, application that is about voting. Now, that there is a you know myriad of patents that go along with that. I've talked about it in a prior video. It is patents going all the way back to 2016. So you know, you know, it takes a it takes a real uh, real legal expert, a, a serious patent attorney, legal expert to kind of mine through all of that and comprehend all that. But as you could see, you know, with uh, what SG is talking about here is that you know now the somewhat mainstream news, at least for Patriot wise, is starting to pick up on the fact that this this blockchain voting system is actually patented. And who's going to follow that stuff? Who listens to that stuff? Governments do. Governments, big businesses, they follow patents. You know, while the everyday crypto trader may not give a crap, well, these uh, big ent entities, they do care. And so uh, hats off to SG and on for talking about this and getting the word out there. And I'll tell you, that's one, um, there's one, there's one test that I had a conversation. I wanted to share another thing I'm going to be talking about. I have a, a show I'm going to do on X here soon. And it's going to be with a, a dude called Eric the Healer. It's a, it's a show I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've known Eric. I've met him since 20, 2013. And we're going to go really deep onto his, his meeting Donald Trump in 1985. And, uh, you know, it's a phenomenal story. It's an exceptional story. It's not just a, a handshake. This is a full-on sit-down, hour-long meeting and conversation, maybe longer than an hour where they sat down and talked. So going into all that, it has a lot to do with what's going on right now. And he's going to talk about it. So stay tuned. It's going to be my ex account. I don't know if I'll be able to post it on YouTube because... Could be a little bit uh, sensitive, but that being said, you know when it comes to this election stuff, what SG and on, it's a real, it's a real test to show that if somebody's willing to talk about uh, that sort, of, that sort of patent, uh, you know, with BSV blockchain, with Craig Wright, you know, if they're willing to talk about that, then you know they're the real deal, dude. They're, you know, it's it's the true sign test. And Miss Casey Nicole, who I host X Spaces with, would be the first to tell you. And testify to that, you know, there's some really great people out there that she's met now and worked with very closely that I'm not going to name, um, that all seem like phenomenal patriots, good people. But it, when it came down to this information that 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 uh, that SG and Anja shared, they had a freaking X on it. They were not allowed to talk about that from their handlers. I mean, she would be the first to testify to that and say what happened. Multiple people have said that because they are they're they're bought and paid for. They have certain restrictions where they cannot talk about certain information, and one of which is Dr. Wright and Chain and this 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 actual blockchain. It's it's taboo to the crypto industry, ultimately because it's the you know it's the ultimate it's the ultimate venom. You don't need crypto. I'm, well, ultimately, forget what you don't need. It's just going off a patent. Like what does the patent say and how does it work? How does it affect all these other, uh, what, what they call cryptos? I mean, that's going to be for a court to decide. But when you really take a closer look at it, you start to realize why they don't want people talking about it and why would would uh, influencers not talk about it, you know? So shout out to SG and on. I really appreciate his uh, bringing that to people's attention. Uh, and just want to talk openly, look for a video from Eric. It's going to come out soon. I just did testing today on my X account with him, make sure that he's up all up to speed so we can do it. I'll probably post the video recording on my other YouTube channel, uh, which is just a small YouTube channel. It's like Gavin. Uh, I think it's Gavin. I'm not sure if it's Gavin Gmail or on YouTube. I'll find it. When I post the video, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know how to find it because uh, I'm not going to post it on this channel because it may get flagged. Um, but yeah, when it comes out, it'll be on X at Gavin Mail with Eric the Healer. It's going to be a story about Donald Trump. Thank you for the SG and on everybody else. Thank you. Leave a comment below, share the video. Be sure to hit the ones and I'll see you at the top. That's it.